everybody and welcome into a special edition of the Orange and Blue Report as we are talking round ball. I'm Dave Kane, voice of the Cavaliers, joined by Jeff White, director of news content on virginiasports.com. And Jeff, it's kind of like Christmas here in October for Virginia basketball junkies. You finally get a chance to see Tony Bennett and the bunch roll the balls out and start to do what they do. And it, it, no surprise, it started with defense with a lot of new faces in the mix. It did. Uh, today is the first official day of practice. The team has been working out periodically since the start of the semester. Today, though, there's very intense focus on defense, even more so than usual, and there's no question who the defensive coordinator of this team is. Much like with football, Bronco Mendenhall does it there. Tony Bennett is the defensive coordinator, and he was in full voice and getting after it today. Yeah, and you know, part of the thing that's sort of intriguing about this year's team is the fact that you have some new faces. We'll call them new, but they were around a season ago, two in particular, the Red Shirts and Jay Huff and Deion Andre Hunter, uh, of course, then you also bring Nigel Johnson in a transfer, but in come three new faces that in a lot of ways could lift this thing even higher potentially, but that's the, the key word right now, potential. These guys are going to have to learn to play within the system. They've got all the offensive power. Can they play defense the way Tony Bennett wants them to? Right. Two of the three have the benefit of having been here last year. They've been through practice, though on the scout team, you know, you use the word potential. I'm not sure there's any player in the program with more potential than DeAndre Hunter. How much he's ready to contribute though right off the bat we'll have to see but you know he's he's a very very gifted athlete who shoots the ball well has great length. Uh, he should be at some point in his career a very good defensive player. It's just a question of when that happens. You know Jay Huff fans have seen glimpses of him. He's a legit seven footer uh, very skilled player. He's not as skinny as he once was but he's still thin. There's work to be done on that end but he's terrifically skilled too. Yeah, and you're also going to say, can he really shoot it that well? It's seven feet tall. I mean, Jay Huff, the guy brings an unusual skill set to the table for Virginia, but last year when we talked about the team going into the season, we said, well, there's a lot of unknowns, way more unknowns than we've had. In, in a lot of ways, you could make the case even more unknowns this season, but perhaps a higher ceiling this season because of the fact that to the, some of the guys that you just mentioned, we haven't even mentioned Mamadi Diakite, who's sort of scratching the surface of what he can do. He's another high ceiling guy. But uh, I mentioned him briefly, Nigel Johnson, London Parente is gone. He's been a staple for this program for four years. Now he leaves the program. It opens the door for Tony Bennett's first graduate transfer as Nigel Johnson comes in from Rutgers. He's going to be intriguing to watch because you knew he could play defense. You knew he had quickness, but the coaches will tell you he can also shoot it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a very good outside shooter. He can get in the lane and finish at the rim. And, and you know, I think what's appealing about him from Virginia's standpoint, it, he's different than anybody else, any other guard in the program. So, you know, he, he's a really nice piece to add. You know, Kyle Guy has his strengths. Devin Hall has his strengths. Ty Jerome has his strengths. Nigel is something different. He's, he's smaller. He's quicker. I think he gets in the lane better than some of the other guards and surprisingly I think he's turned out to be a really good three-point shooter so I mean he's going to be a really nice piece you can still see him catching up you know trying to take a cram course in the pack line defense over a course of months is a lot to ask of a player but he doesn't have the luxury of, uh, of multiple years here so he needs to get it done quickly but he's making strides. Yep and a lot of guys can shoot on this team that'll be fun to watch whether it's Kyle Guy, Ty Jerome, even Devin Hall's improved his shooting a lot of different players but we haven't even really touched on the veterans we'll talk more about them as we get closer into the season but Devin Hall, Isaiah Wilkins back in the fold those two will be Jack big Salt. leaders. Jack Not Salt. so much shooting but you know, he's back. <laughs> well he's been working on his shooting yes, we'll has. tell you that much but uh, we're gonna have a lot to uncover with this team here in 2017 and 18 it should be a really Really fun season of basketball. We're only scratching the surface here as uh, we break this season down going into it. Well, that's not all we're going to be doing this week, of course, here on the Orange and Blue Report. We'll be talking football coming up on Friday. And of course, tomorrow on the Orange and Blue Report, Veronica Latsko stops by the studios. We hope you can join. For Jeff White, I'm Dave Kane saying thanks for stopping by.